Hi guys, in today's video I will show you my home server. It is also a review of the StarTech uh, 12U. Again, this is uh, not a pay review. Uh, I actually pay for it. Uh, every single equipment in here I actually own and uh, pay for it. I don't get it for any discount or you know, promotion making video for them. So these are my review. Um, uh, however, the link on the bottom is actually a affiliated link with the Amazon and eBay. So if you would like to support my channel, uh, you the link on the bottom and purchase your equipment. Uh, that's why I, I get a little bit of uh, commission from Amazon and that's how I uh, roll my channel. Uh, for those who have been subscribed to my channel, thank you. Uh, I really appreciate uh, your support. Uh, I know I've been busy over the years with my job, so uh, I haven't been making video. But uh, for the next uh, coming years, I'll be uh, making a new video. A lot of my f uh, video I know is outdated. Uh, it's free NAS and uh, you know true NAS has been coming out for a while so I'm gonna be making a new video updated uh, for my um, channel again uh, this is the StarTech 12U so as you know I'm actually moving around a lot for my jobs uh, every two or three years uh, a lot of, uh, so it almost more than possible to actually mail it on the wall mail or you know uh, uh, floor mail because that's gonna damage the rental property and you know they're gonna take away my uh, security de deposit for those of you that you know have a house good for you you know you can mail it permanently but uh, for us that have to move around a lot for our job uh, it is easier just put in the 12U that uh, actually this thing actually have wheel on them so you can actually move them around really easy all right um, this thing when you purchase them it actually came in a pallet uh, it mounted uh, securely on the pallet so if you actually like myself moving around every two to three years uh, i'm suggesting you that keeping that uh, wooden pallet um, so that's every time you move it the route you can mount it up there it make it easier for the more and as well as um, you can secure it on the pallet uh, better than just you know leave moving around uh, in a moving truck why not all right and uh, with that like i started so uh, the 12 use uh, start tag it actually have four door uh, one front one back two on the side uh, and the two on the front and back it actually uh, swappable so you can actually uh, unhinge the and move it to the other side if you refer to it open front or left uh, depend on your setup so that's a nice thing it's all nested door so it, keep it ventilated um, here in southern california it's not hot so you know, I can uh, kind of cool down uh, using room temperature. But for those uh, living in an area that are a little bit hot, like Texas, you can actually mount. Um, I believe this is a hundred millimeter uh, fan uh, or uh, four uh, four and a half inches. I think. Yeah, you can mount the uh, two on top and then two on the bottom uh, if that's what you like to do. And it has two door on the side open up and you have access to like, the whole area here so you can do a cable management I try to keep it uh, Ethernet on one side and then all the electrical power on the other side all right and then here's a uh, the back panel it actually have a routed cable right there to you know um, for uh, to get rid of all the statics when you open the door all right and let's come back to the front one so for my setup I have the uh, the first one is uh, the unify cloud key gen 2 plus I use this uh, to uh, because well I have to I have to have it to control the uh, uh, unify uh, access point as uh, you see I have one on top right there um, that's the only uh, unified product I actually using um, beside the router I have one of the router the the one made for residential use not for commercials uh, just in case that uh, you know every time I move around this thing will take like a month or two for it to move between the locations so I actually take that one with me first until you know my server got delivered then I'll switch it out and using the unify um, access point instead 
So up here is a NetGate, uh, I believe it's an X7100. I actually purchased from NetGate to support uh, the developer. Uh, however, you can use the free one. PFC in this, uh, the free version is pretty good. It's as good as the pay uh, versions. So it's up to you how you like it. But this is uh, my setup. And down here I have actually uh, one slot right here. It's actually empty. So you can buy these, uh, you know, uh, filler, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, from Star, uh, Star Tech and fill it in if um, you have an empty uh, uh, space or it's up to you, you can leave it uh, empty so it, you know, it get a little bit uh, for ventilation purpose too. And the next one I have the Cisco Catalyst uh, 2960X series. It's not actually running, I'm just keeping it there. Um, sometimes I have to do some testing for the CCNA stuff, you know. Um, so I keep it there for uh, handy for testing purpose. The next one, uh, actually, uh, I'm using right now is the Microtik uh, Loud uh, Router Switch. The reason why I'm using this instead of using the Unify, Unify look fancy, look nice, yes. However, it's not really customizable, and I hate the fact that you have to create a username and password just to log in, um, have to have a Unify account just to, you know, using it. Uh, Microtik, like, you know, up and running before using and password and you can change it and then you can do a lot of customize to it. Uh, Ethernet cable, I'm actually using the Cat A cable. Uh, some of you might be like, ah, oh, overkill. Well, it doesn't really matter. Use you whatever you like it. I like the quality of the Cat A cable, um, especially if this is a STP cable. Uh, it's really nice when you cut open the cable. Um, they actually a foil that cover the east cross um, in a twisted pair and then on top of that they have another foil that cover all of it so that's help uh, to cancel out the interference um, uh, cross talk as well as the outside interference if you notice uh, these actually a PoE switch so some of it actually a PoE power over Ethernet so it run with the Ethernet cable that could generate uh, you know um, interference because again it power over Ethernet so it carry power would mean that it can generate electromagnetic affecting the um, the data transfer link uh, for the Ethernet so that's why I always use a STP cable uh, if you do uh, make sure you use the STP cable too because in the server rect there's a lot of like you know cable that actually uh, have like electric that can generate electromagnetic uh, interference so it's best to use the STP cable. And the next one I have the Power Edge R620. Uh, that's for my uh, lab testing. And then at the bottom I have the Power Edge uh, R720XD. This is for me, uh, you know, keeping all my backup, all the data and stuff like that. However, I actually upload this thing uh, to the online service as well. Um, I don't just keep one copy at home just in case anything happen, you know. Um, flooding, you know, whatnot. All right, and then the last one I have uh, the Dell EMC fifteen hundred. This is the UBS that provide the power for the R seven twenty XD as well as R six twenty six twenty. I do not uh, connect it uh, my uh, firewall, my uh, switch to the um, UBS. It's not necessary. All right, and on the bottom, I have the 2U uh, storage to put all my miscellaneous cables and stuff like that. But, you know, if you have more, like another uh, Dell R720, you might as well can uh, put it in there. There we go. Again, this is a 12U uh, Star Tech Link. So this is a good thing about it. Uh, now I'm going to talk about uh, the con of this servers. Uh, let's go to the back. Actually, I might keep it open. So right here in the back, uh, you see I have the cable uh, Ethernet uh, patching panel on top. And then on the bottom, I have a APC uh, PDU. So PDU, I'm using uh, for all the switch and router and firewall uh, because you don't need um, 
to connect it to UPS it's shut down on and up like a hundred times then nothing happened to it even that if it's something real wrong with it it's easy to fix anyway and then here uh, I have all the cable well this is one of the bad thing about it if you look at the hinge uh, the silver rack mount for the R620 and the uh, R720XD these things actually uh, to mount the Dell cable management it's like a cable arm so you can wrap all your cable in that uh, arm and so when you pull out the uh, server it's not gonna stuck in the back I'll show you what I'm talking about uh, let me pull out the R620 server So I'm gonna just pull it out a little bit just to show you. So when you uh, pull out a server up front, obviously uh, it's gonna track up the power cable and as well the Ethernet cable. So it's good to have the the cable uh, management, the cable arm. So all the thing gonna stay on that that arm instead of like tracking it, it might stuck or get cut uh, by another server. Uh, so that's the reason why I have to leave this cable a little bit longer so that's why when I pull the server out to uh, you know changing out the RAM or uh, a HPA car or whatnot uh, it's not gonna get stuck or I, or I have to unplug the Ethernet cable and power cable uh, so talking about a con I wish StarTech could make this a little bit longer uh, in the back I think it's probably like you know another five or six inches. That should be enough to um, for uh, for us to put in the cable management room there. And that's really my only complaint with it. Uh, beside that, it's pretty good. I like it. And you know, I hope uh, my setup can help some of you out. Um, you know, with your setup. And I appreciate you being watching my channel and supporting my channel. Uh, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.